Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Today we're going to talk about painting Eldar jewels, but also the same technique could apply to uh, jeweled lenses, lenses of any stripe, uh, also uh, eyeballs, like mechanical eyes, and it can also be done to, uh, like, uh, for like a glowing effect. And so first I'm going to do one on some scratch paper, and then I'm going to do some smaller ones, and hopefully build on some techniques that we've already talked about. Okay, uh, we're going to do two different types. We're going to do uh, we're going to do a blue one and a red one. Now, red red is an unusual color because it's difficult to highlight. Uh, you can't highlight it with white because then you'll get pink. So uh, let's go ahead and start with a blue jewel. So um, we'll get our colors onto the palette here. Uh, just uh, just blue blue and white. This is like this is like the simplest kind. So what you would do is uh, obviously for the jewel there would be like an oval lump there. First off, don't try and go all the way down the edge. Um, if anything, you want to uh, bleed on like some ink or some dark material just to create like a, a rim. So, uh, so this is what you'd end up with. Not end up with, this is what you'd begin with. So you'd end up, uh, excuse me, you'd have like this solid uh, color here. And um, so wet blending is very important with this technique. Now light goes through the jewel. You think light would be on the top? That's not the case. Light goes through the jewel and reflects off the bottom. So then you go in and you grab your lighter color and while this is still wet, you put a stripe along one lower edge like this. So and then you do what's called wet blending as you come in halfway and you just kind of like mop it around a little bit. Okay? So that's how you do the bottom portion. Now, uh, let me show it to you again, and this time I'm going to try and make it like a little bit lighter along the bottom. So I'm going to take almost pure white. In fact, let's just get pure white. Why not? And we just go along on a crescent. So you don't, you don't go on a crescent like a smiley face on the bottom like that. You go like to the side, and that makes it look just a little more natural. Then you dry your brush off just a little bit, and now you start just mopping this around. This is called wet blending. And you'll do this in a, a micro version on the jewel itself. So this is where the light has gone through and it is reflecting off of the bottom of the bottom of the jewel. Now, a couple of things here. One is you can also do this the incredibly hard way, but it also will allow you to do a lot of them be at the same time because um, you can let it dry. This only works if you're doing maybe two, three, or four jewels at a time. Uh, because it depends on that lower layer being wet. So in this version, you can uh, actually, you'll, you'll do one color solid, just a little bit lighter, and you, and you do that line like really thick, and then you let that completely dry. So basically, this is no wet blending, and then you come in and do the next one, slightly lighter, and then the third one, you just do this little tiny line of white there. So this isn't perfect, but you uh, you get the idea. Uh-oh, I'm doing some wet blending here. So anyway, uh, as you can see, the wet blended one actually does look a little bit better, but when you're talking about a jewel uh, like these, where there's a lot of them and they're really small, it doesn't have to be that complicated. Also, you want to make sure that the angle is the same. If there's a lot on the on the model, you're actually forcing light perspective, so to speak meaning all the light is coming from this direction on this model. So I don't do a jewel that has it on this end, and then on, the, on some others I do it where it's on that side, or heaven forbid, top and bottom reversals. It has to be all uh, the same angle throughout the entire model. And then of course you do the highlight, where now this is where the light actually glints off the top of the jewel. So you just put a little dot. And in fact, the dot is really what mostly deceives the eye. Now, some people, they think, well, I'm just going to put like a varnish. I'm going to paint the jewel a solid color, and then I'm going to put a varnish on top of it. And that will create a jewel-like effect because the varnish is reflective. Not so. Here's why. Because in an average game shop, you have 10 different lights. And it tends to confuse them because it will reflect in miniature all the lights that are in the room. And it also won't modulate. So you really are better for a model that's really small. You are you're better off exaggerating and just uh, forcing 
the perspective. So I'm going to go ahead, if Kelly will move on up really close. Uh, on this model, we did something a little bit different. This has a really dark purple jewel, and it's got a very light area, and then it has a bottom swift of pure white, and then a little dot of pure white. Well, um, just for the sake of our uh, argument here, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that entirely, and just turn it into a jewel of the regular type. So I put on my solid color. You notice I'm not going all the way down the edge here. And by the way, that's on there pretty thick because I was watered down quite a bit, so I'm actually going to sop that up just a little bit. And then now I do a mid-range color. Notice I'm twisting my brush as I bring it off to get it to a point. And then I'm going to go on the underside where the reflection is coming from and dry my brush. Then go ahead and wet blend. So I'm going to get some of that darker color again. And I'm going to wet blend. So that actually didn't work so awesome. I'll just get some more white on here. Okay, good. Now, now it's shaping up. Now let's get it out from under the light. So now you see I've created like this little soft white area on the bottom. So now all that's left is to grab some white, spin my brush to a hard point, and just put a little... Now look at how I'm bracing here. Braced here, braced here, braced here. Three fingers are braced on the palette, and I bring in this finger and I brace it on that. So I'm actually like all five fingers are braced on something. And that's how you get a steady hand to get that little white dot on there like that. There you go. Eldar Jewel. So this nose has like that black rim around it. That's optional, but it is really a nice touch on any Eldar Jewels too make it uh, make it like that. Okay, so uh, yeah, I was going to do some on this tank, but I think this demonstrated uh, the how-to technique. So you do the same thing if you are feeling very ambitious, ambitious, you can take lens to eyes, like on a Space Marine, and you can do this same effect. There's three parts to it. The solid, where you leave it wet, and then an under stripe, where you wet blend it uh, near the bottom and then the white dot on top. So let's do a Space Marine eye, and let's do this one red. Now look at this, I have a Scarlet Red, which is kind of a medium red. I have a Carmine Red, which is a true red. This is how you highlight red, by the way. You take a darker, so instead of taking normal red and then putting in white, or which makes pink, so that's horrible, right? Or yellow, which is hard to work with because yellow doesn't have very much opacity, switch the game up. Take a really dark red and highlight it with a true red. And then, and then on the other end, this is a hull red, which is a very brownish burnt red, and you, could, you can uh, play with that. So let's do a large version of this. Uh, so I'll get my three different types of red on my palette here. The true red, the medium red, uh, some might argue this is really a little bit darker, but that's okay. I like it. See the difference between those two? So, and then a very, very dark red. Okay, so let me show you a couple of different ways to attack this. One is, you take this, so we're going to do like a Space Marine eye or an eyeball. Like that. Oh boy, maybe that was a little too watered down. Well, I think you'll get the point. Okay. You know, this is a lot like a cooking show. Alright, so um, then we take, so instead of putting white at the bottom, I put this true red in here. Yeah, this is really not going to show this technique very well. Alright, well let's keep plowing through, so you put a true red on there, and then you can, then, and then you do take your white, and you just make like a white dot, like that. Um, Alright, so let's try something different. Let's go ahead and take a true red and use that as our base. So I'll get my Space Marine eye going here. By the way, doing this on the scale of a Space Marine is insane. It takes an incredibly steady hand and, um, and, and to get in that tiny, tiny little eye socket is just crazy, but some people do it. And by the way, this works for lenses of uh, any kind. So uh, you, you'd use the same technique on something bigger. Now let's get yellow. And by the way, you notice I have a, this is a sun yellow, so this is a very dark yellow. And uh, then we will do our thing on the bottom here. 
And, and you'll notice how this yellow, it's not, look at how weak that is. Oh, now that this is drying, can you see the two different tones? There, isn't that nice? So, um, and by the way, this can be done a lot smoother, just for the sake of time, I'm just uh, trying to give you the general idea. Now look at that. So dry my brush a little bit, get all the paint off, and now I can just work this in like that. Ah, now we're cooking. And then we put our white dot here. And that makes it look, that makes it look like it's, it's a jewel. All right, let me just show you one last thing. Uh, this is where we take a very dark red as our base. And see how that's almost blackish brown, like that. And then you put in, you could go all the way up to true red here. So you just put a swipe of it on, like this. Pretty thick, actually. And then uh, you, you clean your brush off, but you don't have to rinse it off. In fact, it's better not to get a lot of water on there, because you want this control to just wet blend this out. So I'm just kind of, and I'm leaving that little thin line of red, and then of course my white dot, to give the illusion of a glint of light. And there you go. So that's three different ways to, to work with to work with um, with red and highlight red. And in fact, this are, these are good rules for highlighting red altogether. Uh, I do want to show you one other thing. Uh, this is what uh, at the studio we call Beast Eyes, which is a favorite of mine. What we noticed is some of the painters were paint if there were horses, they were painting the horses' eyes like human eyes, where there was a white with an iris in the middle, and that just it didn't make any sense. They looked unnatural. And we were like, well, what do real horses look like? Real horses, the iris takes up like the whole eyeball. They're black. And there's just a glint. So beast eyes is like this. Uh, I don't have black with me right now, so I'm just going to use this whole red, and you'll get the idea. So a beast eyes, you just put black, pure black. You just fill the socket with black. And then you put a, right in the middle, you put a little glint of white. And I gotta tell you, even though it may look a little corny here on the sheet, um, it, it looks awesome. Try you some beast eyes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, got some inspiration, got some insight, and definitely contact Blue Table Painting for your miniatures assembly and painting needs. And we also have an awesome trade-in program and web store for both secondhand and new uh, miniatures. Am I on? You are. Am I on? Okay, don't edit out that part where I ask <laughs> if I'm on. Okay. All right, today we're going to talk about how to paint Eldar Jewels. Oh, I forgot to get the graph tank. Eldar Jewels. <laughs> Why, hello there, Blue Table fans. Is that any good? I'm, just, I'm trying yeah, to do stuff. Was... Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, was... and also Fate fans, and fans of any other nature. Today I'm going to talk about painting Eldar Jewels. And uh, try, try, not, try not to laugh, you know? The, uh, okay, because okay. uh, whenever I'm doing that, uh, the Eldar tend to, uh, tend to giggle because it tickles a little bit. That's I, it? Just tickles? Yep, that's right. You must well, be very I, gentle. I do, I, yeah, I, I paint them very delicately. Okay, so anyway. All right. He's eating no so bowls balls. <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs> hey, hey, Blue Table fans. We're going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> now you got me laughing. <laughs> All right. You know what? Okay. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today we're going to talk about painting Eldar Jewels. <laughs>